multiplying polynomials. So multiplying polynomials is kind of like you have two neighbors. And each neighbor has people living in their house. So in my first house, I have a baby and a mom and a dad. So that's the first house. And in the second house, uh, we have a dude, a lady, kid, and a guy. So now they're all neighbors, and they're new neighbors. So what would be really nice is if the first family went over to the second family and greeted them. And they're going to do it one at a time so that everyone in the first family will greet everyone in the second family. So here goes. Baby greets the first person. Baby greets the second person. Baby greets the third person. Baby greets the fourth person. And she's all done. Now it's dad's turn. So dad is going to greet the first person. Then he'll greet the second person. Then he'll greet the third person. And he'll greet the fourth person. And then he's done. And last, mom's going to greet everyone. So she goes across the street and greets the first person, greets the second person, greets the third person, and greets the last person, and then she's done. So we can multiply polynomials this way. If you think about each polynomial being a person with a a family with terms being the person, and each one in the first polynomial is going to greet each term in the second polynomial. So in my first house, I have 4x squared, 3x, and negative 5. So this is my polynomial that I start with in the first house. Then in the second house, I have negative 2x, and I have positive 7. So we want to multiply these together. So we're going to distribute each term in the first polynomial to each term in the second polynomial. So first, I'm going to start with 4x squared. So 4x squared is going to go over and multiply with the negative 2x. And that gets me negative 8x to the third. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 and x squared times x is x to the third. But he's not done. He has to greet everybody in the second house. So he distributes to the 7. So 4x squared times 7 is 28x squared. And then he's done. Who's next? The 3x. The 3x needs to distribute to every term in the second polynomial. So 3x is going to distribute to the negative 2x, 3x times negative 2x is negative 6x squared. Then you'll distribute to the 7, so 3x times 7 is 21x. And then the 3x is done. And last, I need to distribute the term of negative 5. So I take the negative 5 and multiply it by the negative 2x. And a negative times a negative is a positive, so I have positive 10x. And then I need to distribute the negative 5 to the 7. So it gives me negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. And then he's done. So all the terms in the first polynomial greeted or multiplied all the terms in the second polynomial. Then we're going to add like terms. Add like terms. Negative 8x to the third, there are no like terms, so we just bring it down. 28x squared and negative 6x squared is 22x squared. 21x and 10x is 31x. And there are no like terms with the negative 35, so we just write it down. So the product of those two polynomials is negative 8x to the third plus 22x squared plus 31x 
minus 35. To recap, you multiply each term in the first polynomial by each term in the second polynomial. And then add like terms.